Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Your host Brian West. It's been a long week, but I'm here. I go through over 250 or more stories every week to give you the top eight headlines and developing news stories. And on top of that, you get a bonus. You get eight comedy stories as well. Now, like I said, this show is formatted as usual. I'll go through the comedy stories, the top eight that made it in, and then I'll go through the headlines that made it in this week. Now, remember, the jokes are only made to entertain, but the stories are real. Now, let's get to the top eight stories that made it in this week. Story number one. A study tried to use genetics to explain why people are poor. A study. Get deep. Now, here's a joke. Coaches are now telling their players that they're genetically prone to sitting on the bench to making them feel better. <laughs> Much better, coach. Story number two. Mike Pitts visiting the Pope during Trump's impeachment trial. Uh, sources say that Pitts later walked on water back to Congress after confessing <laughs> Trump sits. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we all are sinners. Story number three. New study wants to know if getting high can improve your mental health. Psychologists are now riding. This is what the story, well, this is what I found out. They're now riding through the inner city to speak with addicts, only to be shocked by graffiti on other people's property. And when they asked the addict, who did it? The addicts said, the weed did it. <laughs> <laughs> Story number four, the weed. <laughs> Story number four, the weed did it. Marijuana. <sighs> yeah. Sometimes this job can be tough, but somebody's got to do it. Story number four, 97,000 gallons of wine spilled into a California river. Well, as usual, here's the sweet stuff. Environmentalists are now collecting water samples to pass out for communion. <laughs> Keep the party going. Story number five. Everybody knows they, they're always uh, does, they're always in Egypt looking for uh, mummies and, and digging them up and, and finding interesting things. Well, they found out that a they found they they dug up a three thousand year old mummy, and with the help of technology, they're saying that the mummy spoke some words according to a report. Now sources say that the mummy's words were, "Damn." Can I get some rest? <laughs> Story number six. DeVos compares abortion rights debate to slavery. Now, Obama says, don't worry. There's a forgiveness program for everything. <laughs> Story number seven of the top two comedy stories that made it in this week. Democrats say that Trump abused his power in office. That's story number seven. Oh, here's, the, here's the goodness. Protesters were seen on the front lawns of Congress with White House uh, segregation signs saying that this political or political violence has got to stop. <laughs> I have a dream. Story number eight. And the top story that made it to the media this week, the top comedy story. A PA man chokes his girlfriend for getting upset while watching Trump impeachment trial. While watching the Trump impeachment trial. Wow. He choked his girlfriend. Now the judge says that he is to remain restrained until after election season is over with. The <laughs> violence has got to stop. Now, those are our top eight headlines, our comedy stories that made it this week. Don't go anywhere. We'll be, I'll be right back with the headlines that made it this week. We'll be, thank you for telling We'll be right back here in the theater. We'll be Brian West. Don't go anywhere. Have no fear, fellas. <laughs> <laughs>
If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. It goes to the website. It's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method8inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program.